Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and this is just one of those really curious locks that I absolutely love. This was sent to me by uh, Potty314, who no doubt you will know already, but please do go check out this channel if you don't. Amazing picker, great content. Love his stuff. Anyway, this is a rim cylinder, but it's, well, it's a wafer lock. You just don't see that. Um, works really nicely. Seems to be held in by some kind of washer and split pin combo and I've um, I've just bent this uh, split pin back so we can uh, gut it hopefully quite easily in a minute but it's just such a curious lock um, I don't think I've ever seen a wafer lock rim cylinder like this before interestingly I have seen a, a uh, the Wellington I think it's a is it the five lever lever lock which is a rim cylinder it's a bit big a bit bigger than this so um, but yeah, seeing seeing a wafer lock version, just really curious. You, I don't know who makes this DL, obviously, or I don't know the company name. And uh, it doesn't ooze quality because it's clearly some kind of like base metal um, that's been painted with a, a sort of a sparkly paint, which is frankly uh, the sign of a, 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 a relatively poor quality lock. But that isn't the point. The point about locks like these, they give pleasure just by being a curiosity. If you're a lock collector, an affectionado like myself, then these locks just mean more to you than some of the higher security locks, just because they're so cool. Or at least, I think so. Um, there is the, the bitting. I wouldn't say that's particularly uh, great. In fact, I reckon that the whole thing would be very, very easily rakeable. But before we rake it, let's grab a vice and, um, and set it all up and um, we'll... We'll have a pick of it. So we're in the vise. I had to take off the tailpiece of the lock so it could fit it in because otherwise it just hit the back of the vise. There's the key and you can see it's a little one, two, three, I think it's a four wafer. Could be five actually. Maybe that's the fifth wafer at the back. Okay, well, well, we'll see in a minute, won't we? I'll just go and pick my way through it. Make sure that's uh, all back in place. Seems good. Now this is a two millimeter Law Lock Tools Hooligan Bar, and that's going to provide top of the keyway tension. And well, to pick it, could use anything, but this nice Sparrows High HD should be pretty cool at getting on top of those wafers. So um, that's, if it's a five, that's a three. That was, um, go to the back. Five, four, and a little touch on two, that last one which clicked was one and we're open. But do you know what, before we, we move on, let's just grab a nice well-rounded, set that back up, well-rounded rake like this Sparrow's Worm. Bit of tension on there, go into the back of the lock and give it a, a little rake and we already open. I mean, this is clearly not a high security lock. Makes you wonder what it is used for. It, I, I'd imagine some kind of internal use because it's clearly an extremely, um, low security lock so if i turn this back to gut it it's actually really really easy and uh, we just pull the pin Ooh. don't know how they got rebent there we go pull the pin Pull the washer and then the whole thing comes out you can see there that you've got the um well the whole lock really there isn't really a, a a bible per se it's just a cutout for the wafers to go into let's get the key so you can see what happens when you put the key in you got these little wafers here and there were five of them yep and they they spring down and then you put the key in, you, you push them up, so they're, they're, they're in this sprung down position. That engages with the cutout on the bottom, so it's all locked in like that, can't turn. The top position there is such that if you overpicked one of the wafers, so if you picked it too far up, it will go into the top and possibly bind there, and therefore it would overlift the wafers and stop and open. But the tolerances in these wave locks are usually so poor. There's lots of movement and uh, and stuff on on these wafers there, as you can see. That yeah, it, it doesn't take very much to open them. Kind of cool to see those, isn't it? You see how little springs are underneath 
these little uh, arms on the wafers there, pushing the wafer down from the top here. And again, you just see the how springy they are. Kind of cool seeing inside these, but like I said, um, just strange to see a rim cylinder version. I can only think that it's used for an internal door or something. Great little curiosity. Thank you to Potty314 for passing this lock on to me. Really, really love it, genuinely. It's such a, a, a great little curiosity. Hope you enjoyed it too, and I'll see you all next time.